a snapshot of. So where we've got we've got the this uh, the ambient orb clone with the using the Arduino which you built, um, and uh, not this is too expensive, and but you have to get the globe from Lowe's, right. the Arduino board. It's 30 bucks. Um, and you need to get the LEDs from, what is it? Who makes it? Phillips? Someone. Anyway, these are five bucks a piece. Um, they're pretty sweet. And actually, these are not running at full power. Um, this is like th this is like 30 milliamps, but they can run at like 800 milliamps, hmm. I think. So this, is maybe, so this is maybe about a tenth of what you can actually get out of these. Huh. Wow. So I'm actually kind of wasting the power. Um, right now. I, what I really need to do is have a, um, what do they call them? In Arduino lands. Not daughter boards, but um, shield. shields, right. I need a shield that um, They'll let you step up the voltage. pull in another voltage source and uh, transistor the value instead of drawing the raw current. Yeah. And then actually, and then go, and then it'll be as bright as like the fluorescent. Sun. So show us, so we can send some colors to this. We've got a kind of simulated pink here that we. So maybe you got RGB. So there's red, and uh, blue. There's blue. And green. Are you putting it? There's in? green. Then show us like fade. One of your fades, so we can uh, lights out. There's it out. Fade. Fade. R, G, B. That's fade in red. Fade in red. And then fade out. And then I can do. Um, this is the right direction. Blue. Those are my two favorites. This is the right direction because it's early. Yeah. And everyone's gonna stay up really late. And actually, you can do interesting stuff. Like if I could fade in blue, but then I actually could fade in. And I'm a total wussy. I like, I go to bed. Anyway, so again, to get the purple, you can do some random stuff. Here. So this is our starting point at Ord Camp 2010. Let's see where we are at Ord Camp 2011. <laughs> cool. Anything else? That's it. Okay.